Shalom, beloved. A word. Book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 15. This is in response to a conversation I had with someone, and they asked me a question regarding this. Book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 15. And I am extremely angry with the nations that are at ease. For while I was only a little angry, they made the disaster worse. Therefore, thus says the Lord, I will return to Jerusalem with compassion. My house shall be built in it, says the Lord of hosts. And the measuring line shall be stretched out over Jerusalem. Proclaim, proclaim further, thus says the Lord of hosts. My city shall again overflow with prosperity. The Lord will again comfort Zion and again choose Jerusalem. And I looked up and saw four horns. I asked the angel who talked with me, what are these? And he answered me. These are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four blacksmiths, and I asked, What are these coming to do? He answered, These are the horns that scattered Judah, so that no head could be raised. But these have come to terrify them, to strike down the horns of the nation that lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter its people. Blacksmiths. Other readings call them carpenters. The four horns, beloved, the four horns. First Zechariah chapter 1, verse 15. And I am extremely angry with the nations that are at ease. They are at ease, beloved. They are at ease. What type of ease are these nations experiencing? These nations that are at ease, beloved. We're going to go to 2 Baruch chapter 82, starting at the third verse. For lo, we, now, we see now the multitude of this prosperity of the other nations. Don't we see it? Don't we see it, beloved? The multitude of the prosperity. We're overcharged, locked up unjustly. You literally have business corporations that have invested in the prison industrial complex and they lock away Yasharel, charge great fines for minimal, they're not even, they're misdemeanors, but they're treated as felonies while they are at ease while they are at ease, huh. at ease, beloved, they are at ease. Yes, there are those who are languishing in prisons for misdemeanor crimes, while someone who wears a badge can walk up on someone he said was jaywalking and in the end shoot him dead for jaywalking and fear no law. We know they are at ease when a so-called officer of the law can put his knee on the neck of a man in front of an entire world. And he doesn't even feel threatened. They are at ease, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. But there is another nation that finds no ease. Mm. But what does the Most High say? I am extremely angry with the nations that are at ease. Mm -hmm. For while I was only a little angry, they made the disaster worse. Here we are in the land of our captivity. And the people that should protect, you have to pay taxes. You literally pay their bills. You pay their salary. And they are among the greatest threats you've ever come across. Mm. They are a ease. And if you don't pay, they will take you away or take your property away because those taxes, those tributes that you pay 
in the land of your captivity. You literally paid to stay where you didn't want to go. I mean, it's kind of twisted when you look at it. This is how corrupt the situation is. And we'll charge you more and give you less. Mm. Wait a minute now. Book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 15. I am extremely angry with the nations that are at ease. Mm. They are at ease. Yes, yes, yes. For while I was only a little angry, they made the disaster worse. Twelve-year-old boy playing with a toy gun shot dead. And the cop that did it, he goes home to sleep at night and pet his children while someone else's child lays in the graveyard. Mm, a woman named Sandra Bland, because she did not turn on her turn signal, lays in the grave. For a term signal. For a term signal. The so-called jaywalker. When you look at the tape, he was murdered by two people who are supposed to serve and protect because he is from that nation. They are from that nation who are at ease. We can commit murder, and they're supposed to let us go against innocent blood. Innocent blood. Mm, mm, mm. They are these. But the Most High said, I am extremely angry with the nations that are these. For while I was only a little angry, they made the disaster worse. Yes, yes, yes. Woo! Mm, mm, mm. Therefore, thus saith the Most High, I have returned to Jerusalem with compassion. My house shall be built in it. But these nations are at ease. As we read further, we go to Book of Zechariah, chapter 1, verse 18. And I looked and saw four horns. Four horns. And I asked the angel who talked with me, what are these? Hmm. And he answered me, these are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Four horns. Gold, silver, brass. Iron for empires, and each empire scattered Judah, Israel, Jerusalem, destroyed it, so to speak. Hmm, 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 hmm. Yes, these are the horns that have scattered Judah, Israel, and Jerusalem. Then the Lord showed me four blacksmiths, some readings say four carpenters. Hmm. And I asked, What are they coming to do? He answered, these are the these are the horns that scattered Judah so that no head could be raised, but these have come to terrify them. Hmm. So the Lord lifted up a standard against them. Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. To strike down the horns of the nations that lifted up their horns against the land of Judah to scatter its people. Yes, yes, beloved, mm. because they are at ease. Mm. What type of people are we talking about? <laughs> what type of people are we talking about, beloved? Mm. Well, we're going to look in the book of Zephaniah. We're going to look and see what type of people we're talking about, beloved. In the book of Zephaniah, hmm, chapter 3, starting at the first verse, it describes these nations and some of their uh, characteristics, so to speak. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. Hmm. Is there a place where the people are oppressed? Is there some identifiable mark? Who could those people be? Perhaps they look like you. Perhaps they look like me. Hmm. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She trusted not in Yahuwah. No. You see, the evil that is going on would not occur if they feared El Elyon, the Most High. Yes, yes, yes. She drew not near her Elohim. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges 
are even in wars. Hmm. How does a judge let a murderer go free because he has a badge on him? But send somebody to jail for a misdemeanor. And because of that poor person's lack of funds, they languish in the prison. But it's feeding a prison industrial complex, a money machine, mm, mm, mm. an oppressing city. Yes, yes. Filthy and polluted. An oppressing city. Yes, yes, yes. You know, there is a city built on capitalism. It's entire business machine that is started up by the enslavement of Yashavet. It put banks in business. It put insurance companies in business. It put factories in business. It set up shipping magnets and... Uh, hmm. It was an oppressive city. Yes, yes, yes. Even its so-called police force hmm, was actually founded on slave hunters and on guarding property, not people. That was the true genesis, origin of the oppressing city's so-called police that serve and protect. See, you have to ask yourself, who are you serving? Mm. Who are you protecting? Because you see, when you look at Yasharel and their history, at least in the United States, when they were set free, they were set free with nothing. And during the time of their enslavement, Mm, this oppressing city. They created something called the Fugitive Slave Act. And uh, Yasharel, during the time of their chained captivity, they had no rights before the law. They could not carry any weapons and they could not testify against their oppressors. Didn't matter what they did. Didn't matter what they did. Mm, they had no rights. They had no rights. Even though they were supposedly given their civil rights in 1866, where they were supposed to be recognized as equal citizens, just like the whites, we know that never came about. Those so-called civil rights. The same civil rights that a man named Martin with a Luther and a King argued about, and yet here we are in that same old pressing city, watching those who serve and protect, shooting down children and walking away with a pass. Okay, but let's move on. Let's move on. Yes, beloved, the book of Zephaniah tells the story, although Zechariah creates the atmosphere to which the nations are not recognizing where Elohim is at. Mm -hmm. According to Zechariah 1, chapter, verse 15, I am extremely angry with the nations that are at ease. For while I was only a little angry, they made the disaster worse. Mm -hmm. He's angry with those nations. Mm -hmm. Now, when we get a description of those nations, we go to Zephaniah, book of Zephaniah 3, starting at the first verse. Yeah. Woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. She obeyed not the voice. She received not correction. She trusted not in Yahuwah. She drew not near to her Elohim. Her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bone till the marrow. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. They have done. Now, here it is. They have done violence to the law. Hmm. Have you seen anybody 
who's supposed to mm. honor the law, break the law, and the so-called lawless law, let them go. But hold other people guilty. As a matter of fact, prosecute the victim and celebrate the evil one, the criminal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Why would they call her prophets light and treacherous persons? Hmm. Have we seen preachers preach that God told them something and we saw their words fall, slant to the ground? Did we hear a Paula White talk about angels coming out of Africa? She heard something banging on the ground. Mm -hmm. Did we see, oh, what is that man's name? Another preacher. Wanting to see uh, that Trump stay in office. And they were praying to what guy? For what man? Mm. Let's move on. Her prophets mm. are light and treacherous persons. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. Have her priests polluted the sanctuary? Have they? Hmm. Let's, let's look at that. Raping little boys. The people in charge of the so-called priesthood just move them from one place to another and all these traumatized poor children. Hmm. 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 Her priests have polluted. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh, the sanctuary. You know, in the book of Mark, chapter 25, if I got it right, the word says you, you call no man father. The only person you call father is the most high God. And yet, when you go to the seat of the beast, they call these fleshly people holy father. I'm just wondering, wondering, wondering. Her priests have polluted the sanctuary. Yes, yes, yes. They have done violence to the Torah, the law. The law of the lawless ones have done violence to the law. Woo! Now you know. But that's what it says right here, book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, starting at the first verse. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Now, when we go to the fifth verse, the just Yahuwah is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning he brings his judgment to light. He fails not. But the unjust knows no shame. Woo. The unjust know no shame. Now, wait a minute. Let's, let, let's go for something. Call it the unjust know no shame. The unjust. No, no shame. No, no shame. No, no shame. I think it was in the month of January on the 6th that uh, the unjust stormed the Capitol in a lawless manner, went to the seat of the law, called the building sacred, even when they talk about it now. It's sacred to us, and yet you took a poop. You smeared it on walls and floors, on desks, pissed all over the place. Wait a minute. But what did the Most High say? Mm, 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 mm. Wait a minute. But the unjust knows no shame. No shame. No shame. I will kill your people right in your face and call the victim the dang grown criminal. Yes, I will. Mm, the unjust know no shame. I will represent the law and be the most lawless individual you ever met. Why are the oppressors of Yasharel policing them? Yasharel should have police that are Yasharel in Yasharel's neighborhood, not an oppressive, murderous people who claim they are police. And I find it interesting, just something to take into consideration. Police. A lot of times they don't even call them police officers anymore. They call them 
law enforcement officers. Law enforcement. Let me tell you something about policing. Policing has three levels. The first level is policing, where all you're supposed to do, you police to prevent crime. You are working under crime prevention. Second level, you see the possibility of crime, the police officers do, and they do everything in their power to let the people know we're here. We don't want to lock you up, but if you keep on, we will. Final level is called tertiary, which is law enforcement given no choice. Now we have to become enforcing and do whatever need be done. That is the only time you're dealing with enforcement. And yet, when they come into the neighborhoods of Yashavet, when they catch you walking across the street and say you're jaywalking, they enforce a law that is no law at all and kill you. Sandra Bland, you didn't put your blink on. Three days later, they you you dead. What? Lawless. Hmm. Just saying, just saying. But the the unjust knows no shame. Mm, 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 mm. Now, this situation was so bad. So bad. Wait a minute. We find Habakkuk. He's sitting back going, Lord, Lord, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. I will stand at my watch post. He's telling him, I know we we committed wrong, but Lord, look at, oh, how long, Lord, how long? Mm -mm -mm. I will stand at my watch post. Yes, I did. And station myself on the rampart. I'm up on the wall waiting for the word because this is out of hand. Don't you think? Wait a minute. I will keep watch to see what he will say to me. Yes, yes, yes. We are crying out unto the Most High against this lawless, godless nation. Wait a minute. Mm, mm, mm. I will keep watch to see what he will say to me and what he will answer concerning my complaint. Mm, 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 mm. He's talking about the evil of the people that are tormenting Yahshua. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision, make it plain on tables, so that a runner may read it, for there is still a vision for the appointed time. It speaks of the end and does not lie. If it seems to tarry, wait for it. Mm. Wait for it. Come on now, wait for it. It will surely come. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. It will not delay. Look at the proud. Look at it. Mm -mm -mm. Their spirit is not right in them. No, it's not. Mm -mm. But the righteous live by their faith. Yes, 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 yes. Moreover, wealth is treacherous. You look at most wealthy people, and if you check on how they got it, you're dealing with some form of treachery, robbery. They, they, they made a whole lot of folk suffer. Okay? Mm, mm, mm. Moreover, wealth is treacherous. The arrogant do not endure. No, they don't. Keep your eyes open. They open their throats wide as shoal like the grave. Yes, they do. Like death, they never have enough. Never. They gather all nations for themselves and collect all people as their own. Woo! We as different as night and day. And you want us to hang with you so you can commit debauchery and murder and woo. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, okay. Now, we got some identifiable marks on this nation. A city built on crime and murder. Let's see how they live. Hmm. We're in 2nd Baruch, chapter 82. Starting at the third verse. For lo, we see now the multitude of the prosperity of the other nations, though they act impiously. Hmm. But they shall be like a vapor. Oh, they shall be like a vapor below. Like a vapor. 
Okay. And we see the firmness of their might. Yes, yes. They got this corruption on lock. Blast and, and fight and scream and holler right and wrong don't mean nothing. Not one thing. As long as they can do evil. Okay. Yeah. Though they resist El Elohim every hour, the, but they shall be counted as spittle. Hmm. Tells you that in Second Ezra too. This is how the Most High sees. Okay, and we consider the glory of their greatness. Hmm. Though they do not guard the statutes of El Elyon, the Most High, but as smoke, they shall pass away. They shall pass away. They shall pass away. And we meditate on the beauty of their gracefulness, though they have to do with pollutions. Mm. The beauty of their gracefulness has to do with pollutions. Well, what kind of pollution? Let's see. I think it's Botox, it's poison, fake body parts. Mm. Not to mention, in order to gain all of these so-called uh, riches, they destroy and pollute the earth with violence, destruction, and suffering. Woo! <laughs> they ruin lives. They take lives. They'll steal your soul if they can. Wait a minute. And we consider the strength of their cruelty. Wait a minute, see. You can shoot down, they can shoot down a 12-year-old child for playing with a toy gun. And the man that did it, just send him home. Send him home. Send a man home. Yeah? Send him home. Even though they put a cop in jail named Jason Van Dyke for shooting Laquan McDonald 16 times, he's only slated to do seven years. He shot that baby 16 times. Whoa, mm, wait a minute. And they tried to take down all the cameras before it could be found out. But wait a minute. Mm, we're just trying to get this cruelty. And we consider the strength. Wait a minute now. The strength of their cruelty. Bury people in prisons to make a dollar knowing that person is innocent. Woo, that's cruelty, baby. Don't want to let them out. And these same sad people will kill themselves before they want to go to jail. Wait a minute, you know how terrible it is, and yet you you looking for somebody to put in to make a dollar? To make a dollar? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Woo-wee. And we consider the strength of their cruelty, though they remember not the end thereof. You reap what you sow, God will not be mocked. Wait a minute, just talk. Mm, 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 mm. But as a way that passes, they shall be broken. All right. Though, and we remark the boastfulness of their might. Ah, listen now. Have we heard boasting? Four years of crap. Have we heard boasting? And you got a whole group of people, white supremacists, that, oh my goodness. Let me tell you the strength of their cruelty. Because this young man, 17 years old, crossed state border to fight against people who fought against corruption and who were protesting, he brings a gun he was not lawfully uh, uh, justified in carrying, shoots two people who look just like him. Another man he wounds and disables, and yet, Last I checked, they let him out on bail, and yet somebody else for a small, tinky crime like carrying a joint is sitting up in jail for years and can't get out. Wait a minute. We're just talking about the strength of their cruelty on how a murderer can walk the street. That's true. He can walk the street. And everybody wondered, is he actually going to be prosecuted? That's some strength. When you talk about cruel. Wait a minute now. Mm. When a man named Zimmerman 
can shoot down a baby with a hood and skittles in his hands. And don't go to jail. We're talking about the strut of their hoods. And feel boastfully right in what he did. Boastfully right. Let's, let's just keep on with it. And we remark the boastfulness of their might, though they deny the, the, the beneficence of Elohim who gave it to them. But they shall pass away as a passing cloud. They shall pass away. They shall pass away. And beloved, though it tarry, wait for it. It shall not tarry. It shall surely come. You see, once upon a time when we did wrong, we did wrong. And they was telling our ancestors, and they thought it tarried. We are living witnesses. It surely came to pass. We are living witnesses. So we know his word go out. Don't come back, boy. Let's keep going. Mm. But what does he tell us to do? Yes, you mm. At all times, make requests perseveringly and pray diligently with your whole heart. That El Elohim may be reconciled to you, and that he may not reckon the multitude of your sins, my sins, but remember the rectitude of your fathers. For if he judge us not according to the multitude of his mercies, woe unto all of us who are born. If he don't do this thing with some mercy, it's over. Okay? It's over. Okay? Mm, 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 mm. Listen. Do ye therefore... There, do ye therefore prepare your hearts for that which is before you believe. Do ye there prepare your hearts for that which before you believe. Prepare your heart. Time's come. He's come. And to finalize this, beloved, just to finish it, okay? The person I was speaking to said, who will be spared and who won't? Hmm. So, I'm in 2nd Baruch, chapter 72, starting at the 2nd verse. The book, 2nd Baruch, chapter 72, starting at the 2nd verse. After the signs have come of which you were told before, when the nations become turbulent, have we seen turbulence? protesting worldwide, you actually have some governors and people trying to outlaw protesting. Hmm. Uh, that's government redress. Remember that lawless thing? Who mm -mm -mm. Lawless. Because according to the First Amendment, you have a right to redress. Peaceful protest. They would have once stirred it up. Wait a minute. I digress. I digress. Wait a minute, let's go back. Second Baruch, chapter 72, starting at the second verse. After the signs have come of which you were told before, when the nations become turbulent, and the time of my Mashiach is come, he shall both summon all the nations. Mm. And some of them he shall spare, and some of them he shall slay, kill. Destroy. These things, therefore, shall come upon the nations which are to be spared by him. Every nation which knows not Yashavah. That means they haven't intentionally forced themselves physically upon them. Haven't served them up to the sodomite prisons. Things of this nature. All right. Mm. These things, therefore, shall come upon the nations which are to be spared by him. Every nation which knows not Yasharel and has not trodden down the seed of Jacob shall indeed be spared. This because some out of every nation shall be subjected to your people. Those are going to be the people who are going to be subjected to Yasharel. But all those who have ruled over you, here's your answer. But all those who have ruled over you mm, or have known you, biblically that's laid with you, violated you, shall be given up to the sword, death. So, beloved, 
all those who have done evil to Yasharel shall die. I'm going to, they shall die. Those who have not shall be spared. A word, beloved. One more. I know I'm going a little long. Just a little long. Um, let me let me get it right now. I gotta find it. Gotta find it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. You know, I think I'm gonna come back at it because. This next piece I wanted to bring in. Right now, you have something going on where a lot of the Asians are trying to, they're trying to use this little manipulation called the black people messing with us. Oh, the black people. We, we the victims. We the victims. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, but when you go in the second Esdras, chapter 15. Second Esdras, chapter 15. Starting at the 46th verse. It talks about the judgment of Asia. And see, Asia is more than just one set of people. It's a land mass. It covers a lot of different countries and continents. Or, well, it is the continent of Asia. A lot of different countries, beloved. But I'm going to say this quick. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 46. And you, Asia who share in the splendor of Babylon and the glory of her person. Yeah, they get mad rich. That's sharing in the splendor. See, once upon a time, Asia had nothing to do with us. But now, they're going to go along to get along to get that cash. Even knowing that we're being mistreated, abused, murdered. But that's for another day, beloved. That's for another day. Just a word. I am responding to a question someone asked me about 1st Zechari Zechariah chapter 1 verse 15. And I am extremely angry with the nations that are at ease. For while I was only a little angry, they made the disaster worse. And as you go on, he talks about the four horns. The four horns are those four empires. The empires of gold, silver, brass, and iron. Okay that oppress Judah, Israel, and, and Jerusalem and destroyed them, scattered them. Yes, beloved. And all who have done evil to Yashabel, according to the word of the Most High, 2 Baruch, chapter 72, starting at the second verse, they shall be given over unto death. Those who are of Yashabel, who know that the time draws nigh, you need to repent of your sins. I repent of mine. We repent daily so that our salvation is assured and we are not counted in those two-thirds. It's just a word, beloved. Shalom.